Hi there, this is our big set of Bronx rolls, mechanical. It's got the three large rollers of the same diameter. Uh, these um, back two are the pinch type rollers that both drive. And um, this front one is a freewheeling roller. Um, the, it's got a motorised control for the bottom of the back two rollers uh, that you can operate uh, up and down via switch to pinch your material. And it's got a um, electrical control for the up and down um, of this forming um, roller as well. It's uh, got three speeds up and down for it. And also it's got a quite a nice simple balancing system etc. Uh, it's got a wee uh, dog drive here and a lever. You can quickly disengage that. Um, take um, this end up or down, then engage it when you get it right. And um, then both of the drives uh, run unanimously up or down. It's got a really big uh, counterweight system down here for um, uh, taking your material out off that top roller. Um, really nicely designed system, very heavy duty, and um, uh, but a well thought out setup for getting your material off once it's completely cylindrical. This is the um, uh, Wii 5 horsepower motor this end, which takes um, that back pinching roller up and down. You've got a 15 horsepower motor back there, which drives this um, uh, forming roller up and down, um, that variable speed. And then you've got a 25 horsepower motor over there, which drives the two rollers themselves. The roller speed um, for the driven ones is a single speed, and then you've got a small um, uh, motor in here which drives the lubrication system. Now I have taken the hatch off um, this here, and the main um, gears in it are a splash feed with oil, uh, oil bath down the bottom, and then that we pump also as a pressure system that pumps uh, oil up to the top um, of some of the gears as well. All the gears in there that I can see look in really good condition and the whole machine itself seems to um, tick over very very nicely so I'd say through its lifetime um, it's been really well maintained and doesn't hasn't done a huge amount of work. Well that's probably all I can tell you mechanically apart from starting it up. Um, it needs a paint um, and a couple of the guards need a little bit of a panel beat, but it's not too bad. Um, the general condition in regards to all the bushing and the way that it ticks over seems really good. Um, uh, two of the large motor um, are the slip ring type, and where they run up against the slip rings, and that looks in really good condition. Um, all the motors are AC, and um, then you've got a conventional motor down here. Um, your 5 horsepower and your wee oil pump as a conventional um, motor there. So over in the switchboard here, we've got a main reasonably modern um, switchboard uh, here which has got your HRC fuses in them and your main off and con on control switch. You've got um, your wee oil pump motor there, your up and down uh, for your back pinch roller here. You've got um, this here controls um, the bending roller up and down. It's three speeds either way. And then this starts the big 25 horsepower and turns the rollers one direction or the other. All right, I'll turn that um, oil pump. I'll do things separately um, so you can have a listen to them individually. So that's the oil pump ticking over there, um, which pressure feeds the, um, to, uh, the top rollers. So I'll stop that. Um, I'll take um, up and down the uh, back pinch roller. So that's got a shaft, you may not be able to see that spinning, but basically what that's doing is lowering that back pinch roller there. And now I'll take it up. Now it's taking that up. So that's a nice um, up and down control that's working well. Um, and everything sounds really nice in that workings of that back pinch roller there as well. Now this is um, the control for... Oh, yep. I'll need that oil pump going. 
So um, this is the control for the top um, uh, form roller, this one here, and um, that's taking that down at the moment. Um, that's one speed, faster and faster, slower, slower, stop. Now the other direction, we'll take that forming roller up. It's a slow speed. Those are at speeds there. stop and like I say um, this particular one here has got the wee dog engagement and you undo it if you want one end of this forming roller down up etc as opposed to the other end and then the only other one is the main um, whoops that's the wrong one the only other one is this control which is your main rollers so that's running in reverse there like I say I've taken that inspection panel off and the gears look really good inside Stop. I'll turn that oil pump off because I think I can run that without that so you can have a better listen to it. Yeah, and so that's the main rollers ticking over there. You can all hear the oil splashing around but all the gears run really nicely. And um, they've got a big um, wheel up top there for uh, putting tension on it for the backlash etc. So it ticks over really quiet. So those are all the functions to show you. There's nothing else really. Um, inside these looks pretty good for its age. Um, everything's working really well. Uh, the motors and the bushes and bits and pieces look in good condition. I think it's been well looked after. And it's got some really good um, features on it, um, as well as um, this setup back here with that counterbalance, etc. So it's all ready to go into use. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much all of the functions to show you.